Hey what's up guys my name is Pavinder from PNP Tutorials and you are watching the PNP Tutorials channel and in this video we are going to find out whether we can connect USB Wi-Fi adapter directly to the Kali Linux that is running over the WSL. Now here you can see I have plugged in a USB Wi-Fi adapter which supports 2.4 GHz as well as 5 GHz band. Now in order to play with the networking of WSL, first of all you will have to turn on the WSL application. So here you can see guys it has been turned on. Now when we talk in terms of the networking of WSL2 then everything is just being managed by one single application and that is called Hyper-V. So if you just right click over here and then click on run as administrator, you will be able to see the Hyper-V and from virtual switch manager, you will be able to see the WSL. Now from here, you can play with the networking of WSL. Right now it is using the private network. It is using the same IP address as of the Windows system. But now what I want to do here is I want to make the WSL to use a external network. And in that case, we have two adapters here. One is the Ethernet and second one is the wireless LAN card. So I'm just going to make the use of USB wireless LAN card and I'll just click on apply. And in order to make this change in the Hyper-V, you will have to open the Hyper-V in the administrator mode. Once it is done, then you can click on OK. Now I can just try to run the WSL again. All right. So let me just Type in here ifconfig, this will show me the IP address. To WSL, it is just being recognized as a Ethernet 0. Even after using the wireless LAN card, it is being recognized as a Ethernet 0. So this is really the problem with WSL. So what WSL does is, everything that is connected to the computer system, that is connected to the host operating system, is being recognized as a Ethernet interface. Now that was the answer to the first question, can we connect USB Wi-Fi interface? Now the second question is, can we give an independent IP address to the WSL directly from the router? Now what we will do here is, we will use two commands and that will directly take the IP address from the router. So first of all, it has just flushed that IP address that is being used by the Ethernet 0 interface. Now what I'm going to do here is I'll just add a new IP address and that IP address will be fast from the DHCP of the router. Now if you can see here the new IP address that has been allotted by the router is 192.168.1.14. Now USB adapter that is plugged in into my PC is being used as a Ethernet to the WSL. And the IP address of that USB adapter is directly being picked up from the Wi-Fi router. Now sometimes what happens is whenever you change the network adapter configuration for the WSL2, you might not get the internet connectivity at all in the WSL. So let me just try to ping google.com and see if the internet connectivity is working fine or not. So here you can see, I have tried ping the google.com but it is not responding at all. So let me just have a look at the name server file or you can say the resolve config file. For that I'm just gonna make the use of this command. I'll just open the resolve.conf file from the nano editor. And here you can see guys we have name server as 192.168.1.32. So we might have to just change the name server to the Google DNS server. Press Ctrl X together and then Y and then hit enter. Now let me just try to ping the google.com again. And here you can see, I've got the internet connection. I can ping google.com, which means the internet connection is working fine into the WSL2. So these were the three things. First of all, you cannot plug in the USB Wi-Fi adapter directly to the WSL, or you can say the Kali Linux that is installed over the WSL. Second thing was how you can take the independent IP address directly from the router for the WSL. And third thing was how you can enable the internet connectivity into your WSL2. So I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, then give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, then don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.